some people just cannot appreciate the arts. And so a lot of work just gets left unsold. But at least there's a lot of cosplay pictures floating around. But whether you're here to see someone start up their new job, how they're getting on, or any ghosts, ghouls, or even fairies floating around, you're probably in the right place. Hopefully that wasn't any strong weather coming in in the future. A good uh, shopping district cat just sitting around. He, uh, he has some plans. And seeing the small little picture frame on the side there. How are the dragons going to react to Father's Day or pretty much any other sub holiday? <laughs> you know. Considering some of them have only really come across briefly, or recently. I say some of them, one of them. <laughs> they got used to the shut-in lifestyle pretty quickly. Fafnir would be proud. Are we are we going to end this season like we did with the previous one and some some big bad come down to question the lifestyle choices? Newton's Cradle. He's... He's, uh, busy. Busy. This is a present for his father, yes. Uh, would be something that he would like to do solo. I mean, some... Uh, maybe talismans just aren't as powerful as a dragon's fire. <laughs> it is good that Kobayashi is there as... to hopefully talk her out of her nonsense, but no. Was that just magic.com? You have to get a, a black market cheap knockoff talisman. <laughs> Your products will arrive shortly. Good thing they don't get stuck in customs or anything. Some of these ingredients, hopefully the, they're ethically sourced unicorn horns. Yeah, just a, just a brief explosion. Seems like a, a currency might be be used to. Does that mean he needs to order some new... 
some new ingredients. Yeah, 48 times the chant. I like how he's uh, taking a break since it hasn't really succeeded so far. Ah, oh, that was so easy. At least he has some some uh, others to rely on now. Is is Fafnir going to uh, give him some advice here? Ah, it's his cool adult friend. I think I'd quite quite like to play that game. <laughs> There seems to have a lot of effort being put into it, even in the like, resting hub section. The missing ingredient. How how could there not be uh, some furrow instructions written down there? Maybe two pages got stuck together. Okay. Ah. How dare you uh, think about imparting your knowledge to think that the surrounding air pressure was the missing part of the equation. Not something you'd really immediately jump to. Where's my present? And, uh, but no one questioned what the successive explosions were earlier. <laughs> it's, uh, hmm. Hmm. You might not want to read into that more than you want you really wish. But as a present something handmade. But if there was a virus capable of taking a dragon out of commission, just think of the havoc it would wreak. In the human world. Just a bit of bed rest. But the thing is, will the company survive? You uh, haven't gone through 
this just yet. So could be an idea. But there's also just make some warm warm food. Let him finish his sentence. For the love of God, please let him finish his sentence. <laughs> e hmm. The charcoal might be good, but not just giving a chunks of it to child our one. Actually, some relatively good, some good help there. <laughs> what about humans and their pitiful digestive system? I... I don't think there's any rice in there. I see some things that might be okay, but... You can at least take the skin off the banana. <laughs> of course, she's, uh... Gonna go steeply downhill after that meal. <laughs> And this is all in the aid of healing her, so can Toru. Well, actually provide capable care. Villages. Nations, entire cultures can be wiped out easily. With the inexorable march of time, even a dragon can't escape. Welcome home, I'm going out. <laughs> Oh, good job she wasn't just immediately going for that. You know, a medicine that heals the common cold, that would... That would be a absolutely massive business venture if she brought some of that across. There you go. Now Toru's going to be gone for a month and a half trying to gather the... <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Well, she'll keep them in the drawer for... Uh... for the next time she's ill. You're only supposed to take one. Did she think about any side effects before just taking it? Sometimes the placebo effect is so, well, effective. Could be worse. <laughs> I 
I mean, she could go to work like that, and I think some of the other employees would like it. <laughs> Maybe get a laser pointer next time. Who just leaves a, a doll like that? Hmm. Hopefully they'd be back. With what information do you... And what, the, the store can just close for the day? <laughs> I mean, they're out walking at the minute together. Did did they ask the the grandmother if she knows anything about it? How could anyone consider abandoning something like that? I wonder if here at him saying about abandonment really struck a chord. <laughs> I at the very least just putting her mind at ease, but I mean, <laughs> he's got a good eye, that kid. Well, track the owner like some sort of bloodhound. I mean, does he have the wrong idea, though? There's no stopping her now. It's faint, but... I did think this might eke back into a flashback for her. Ah. Maybe someone abandoned it. Is is he actually going to be uh, okay with himself to let her go on alone? Must have been recent. Sudden downpour. <laughs> this really means a lot more to her than just finding the owner. And the more we learn about it, the, uh, the more nuanced all of the characters seem.
Well, that was... Huh. Perception blocking. Hey, where did you come from? <laughs> ah, there's only several people that have placed an order recently. Here's the address. You see, rather than just walking around the streets looking for scents in the air. I did. Ah, so you can't have a... a doll any longer. And for a resolution like this, one that she could probably hoped for herself at one point, and just because others may look down on you or mock you for something. Damn it, Kobayashi, why are you not training her? Custom order. Where else is it supposed to be uh, on display? He might have to uh, take her up on that offer. I mean, for just... Leaving a doll there to be abandoned, as you, as it were. Oh, my friends f thought I, uh, I was too old to be having a doll. So I left it there, thinking you'd put it on display. Okay. Well-intentioned, maybe, but... Why not leave a note? Why not tell them? C could you put this on display? Don't just throw it out. How many stores would just keep uh, possessions like that as a, a decoration? But the f was it three store lines we had in this? The Father's Day gift, the illness, and then the doll. You know, despite two different well, cultures clashing, not having, well, not seemingly having too much in common with each other, in reality, it's far more than you realise. Everyone has things they want to protect, things they regret, and things that would mean a lot more to them than they might even wish to admit to themselves. And though her doll may be long since past, Something that could be not really easily found for her to be able to give that other person a little bit of closure, a new lease of uh, time together. To Take, it's just there's a doll and she wants to return it, but to Itadu, it's so much more. And sometimes we don't see what other people. And we're going through what they hold to themselves is important. And sometimes it is the little things that matter. Much like a little book of massage coupons. 
You know, we've seen that kind of thing so many times and it seems so common, yet... Has anyone ever actually considered giving that gift when they were younger? I mean, I didn't have money to buy gifts and presents and the like. But I don't think I made a little, a little coupon pack. And it is nice to see that when it matters, Toru can tone things down, knows when things are inappropriate. Even with Kobayashi is so defenceless in front of her. I wonder if she's going to be going back for any more of those pills, though. If she, if Kobayashi finds them crushed up on her food, well, I wouldn't be too surprised, actually. But that was the first episode of um, Kobayashi Sun. So, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you leave a like and a comment on the video, it definitely helps out the channel. And if you want something for yourself, consider subscribing. It's kind of like running through my channel and checking all the videos, but uh, it does it for you. So make sure not to miss out if that's what you really want. There's going to be some more dragons in the future. So I hope to see you there. I hope that my channel isn't something that would one day be tossed aside, left to wither in the rain. But then again, I look at my patrons and think, at some point, at least someone cared. So I really need to give my appreciation to Electricant, Arfiad, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sal, Shiwan, Mecha, Matt, Stinsfire, Gurley, Saltitron, Cardboard, Croyville, Dark Shadow, 7899, Alvin, Garcia, Santiago, and everyone else. And if you really do enjoy, and don't want to lose something important, consider joining my Patreon as well.